All right, so I might as well do a review on the Boston Burgundy lettuce, being it's already bolted. So let me um, pick a few leaves. I'll do a taste test, and I'll talk a little bit about the lettuce. This lettuce is generally very slow to bolt. I had grown this lettuce and had a lot of success growing it. But sometimes, like this year, it's just been a really warm year, and it bolted. One day it was looking good. It doesn't really head, but it forms a really dense, low, round type of cluster. And it looked really good. I was just getting ready to get my camera out. I wanted to let it grow a little bit more, and then I was going to get my camera out and do a video of it while it was small. But I came out like the day after to look at it, because I don't always walk into the back garden, but I think it rained a little bit, and it was cloudy, and... So I probably didn't walk back here, and then I came out like a day or two after I actually looked at it. I was like, okay, I'm going to get ready to do a video on this, and it bolted. It was like this, like basically what you see. It just went from a lump on the ground to like all the way up to this. So anyway, we'll pick a leaf, and we'll taste test it. I'm not going to wash it because it did rain here the other day. Just check for any slugs. You don't want slugs. And... Uh, We'll give it a taste test, and I'll try to describe its scrumptiousness. Now, it's going to be a little bit more bitter than it normally is because it bolts, and when it bolts, it kind of gets a little bittery. But if you get this lettuce before it bolts, it's the best lettuce you can buy, in my opinion. I grow a lot of different lettuces. This lettuce really holds up to the, to the test. It's a really good lettuce to, to eat. It's just if it bolts, like any lettuce, it's going to get a little tangy. So let's give it a bite. Actually, it's still very smooth, very, very smooth. It's, it's almost delectable. I don't know a right word to describe it. It's very, very nice. It's got a very nice taste. It's very smooth. It is a little bit tangy once you start getting down towards the bottom of it. It gets a little bit tangy, but it's a very, very nice lettuce. This is a lettuce I would recommend for anybody like who's be like a beginner's lettuce. I would not if you're just beginning like with lettuce, you're just kind of starting gardening and you're you're kind of wanting to know what you should start with. I wouldn't recommend iceberg lettuce. To get iceberg lettuce to head is very difficult. I've grown iceberg lettuce and I did actually get iceberg lettuce to head one time successfully and it's very difficult. It's a lot of work to try to get that lettuce to head. A good lettuce, a good starter's lettuce, I would say, would be romaines, uh, like a dark green romaine lettuce. That's generally not necessarily a heading lettuce, but it does kind of form like a leafy, you, you know what romaine lettuce looks like. So it does form kind of like a head, but that's a good, easy lettuce to start with. It's very slow to bolt. You can grow that lettuce very easily. I did start romaine this year, but it kind of failed. This, some of the seasons sprout and so I was going, I'm going other lettuces, so I didn't focus on it. But that would be a good lettuce to start with. And this is actually a good lettuce to start with. It's easy to grow. And even if it does bolt, the leaves generally still taste pretty smooth. See? The uh, stem part right here, that starts getting bitter a little bit. But for me, I don't mind the bitterness. Uh, the bitterness for me is pretty good. I, like I say, it doesn't bother me. But some people really want that smooth lettuce taste, like a, a smooth iceberg. They don't want no bitterness. Romaine, romaine lettuces tend to sometimes have a little bitterness. But it's something that once you learn how to get by that little bit, it doesn't really bother you. And it's not really going to affect your salads, really. But I'll just show it to you. You know, like this is a leaf. It's a beautiful color it's got a I'm trying to find you a good older leaf you can see like the pattern on that is beautiful and I'm gonna be picking some of this lettuce for a salad right now so I figured while I'm gonna pick some I figured I shoot a, a little bit of footage on it like that one broke right there I wouldn't eat that and that's garbage but you could see like the stem is really thick and so I'm gonna let these bolt I'm gonna pick all the leaves off that I can 
and I'm going to let the rest bolt and go to seed, and I'm going to keep the seed, basically, and I'll grow it out again, but next year's lettuce will probably grow a little better, or the next time I grow lettuce, I don't know if I'll have seed by the end of August, because I'm going to do lettuce again for my winter, for my winter crops, so I'm going to do lettuce again, it grows better in the fall, or early in the spring, but if I get seed, I can plant a seed and by you know end of august september and this will grow really fast so but yeah that's your burgundy your uh, boston burgundy lettuce i highly recommend it give it a go and uh, maybe i'll include a snapshot of the seeds at the end of the video all right so like share comment at, comment if you have any questions comment below and i will see you on the next one take care